Hello, YouTubers. I've been offline for a couple of weeks, primarily because I wanted to give Bernie every opportunity to win. Now that the establishment has effectively prevented him from winning the Democratic primary, I'm sure that many are questioning, where does the movement go from here? Bernie did a fantastic job of winning the youth vote, but his unwillingness to stand up and fight is, in my view, what cost him the nomination. Perhaps the biggest issue is that he didn't grow the progressive movement as much as he rallied those who were already predisposed to progressive ideas. The young are typically more progressive, which is why they were receptive to the message. So where do we go from here? Well, we need to grow the movement. We're not going to do that by rallying our base. We will only do that by attracting those who aren't currently a part of the progressive movement. We need to win over Republicans, Libertarians, and anyone that we can. To attract outsiders to the progressive movement, we need to return to our roots. Progressives often look for a modern-day FDR, but FDR is not the start of the progressive movement and, in my mind, doesn't really represent the best of the progressive movement. Rather than to look to FDR, progressives need to look to the first progressive president, Teddy Roosevelt. By returning to those roots, we will attract those on the right and on the left. We will we will attract the young as well as the old. In short, progressives should not think of themselves as left-wingers. Instead, we should recognize the significant contributions that Republicans of the past have made to the progressive movement. It's harder to persuade people to join your movement if they believe that those ideas are contrary to their history and their values. But if people like evangelicals realize that the progressive movement is a part of their history too, then it makes it much easier for them to identify with the progressive movement. If progressives can attract evangelicals, libertarians, and anyone else, we can create an unstoppable force in American society. We can build a better society, but we have to swallow our pride and we have to attract the kind of people that originally started the progressive movement. I will be releasing several videos in the near future that detail the early history of the progressive movement. I will show that the modern day progressive movement isn't really a left wing movement, but that it actually comes from a combination of past left and right wing progressive movements. I will also show the need to unify with our historic allies, namely evangelical Christians. I realize that you might find it strange that evangelicals are our historic allies, but it is Christians from the Republican Party that first started the progressive movement. They were once our allies, and can be so again. If you like this video, please show your support by subscribing. Thanks for your time.